How have you found the experience of A, getting into the first team and then B, staying there? Yeah, obviously it's been a great experience for me. Obviously, I think that's uh, the next step I needed in my career. And thankfully, the gaffer's given me a chance and put his faith in me, and hopefully, I'm just repaying him now. When uh, did you first have a conversation with the manager about becoming more and more involved? Uh, I wouldn't say there was ever a conversation between me and the, me and the gaffer. It was more the intensity of, of, of being thrown into the mixer and given a chance, and then it was just stepped up from training once a week to training every week to then coming off the bench at Sunderland and then all of a sudden starting against Mill, it all happened so quick there weren't there weren't a time where it was like, listen, this is what's happening. It was just it it just happened. Does that feel then as though you didn't have a great deal of time to think about it, that that's helped rather than thinking, well my debut's on Saturday, my debut's a day away, my debut's two days away? Uh yeah, I guess so. I just thought like I said I said it before, I just, as soon as I knew I knew on the night against Millwall. So I just tried to strip it back just to a game and then just focus on my game and, and do what I do best. Did you think you would get an opportunity like this this season? Um, I never thought I would, but I was hoping I did. And th- I'm, I'm thankful I did get it. And just trying to show the fans and, and the gaffer what I'm about now. How uh, pleasing is it, not just from your own perspective, but for some of the other academy players that are now playing, that the club are willing to give players that chance now? Yeah, obviously it's it's good for the younger lads to know that there is a route through to the first team, and and obviously all the hard hard work out there and on, on the training pitches is is is, pay, is paying off now. So hopefully the young lads can lock up and think there is a chance if they keep working hard, they they will get a chance to throw youngsters into into the mix at first team levels a a, a big call, and obviously the gaffer's giving me that shout and put his faith in me, and like I say, I'm just trying to repay him for it. It's obviously working out well for you because you're continually uh, getting in the team, but the, the adjustment out of playing under-23s football into big stadiums uh, where more experienced pros are playing, what are some of the main differences that you're finding? Obviously, the atmosphere and the intensity is massive. Um, regarding the game, it's just quicker, a lot more physical, but like I say, it's just a learning experience and taking every game, game by game, and just showing the guy from the fans and, and, and my family what I'm about, really. And what did some of the experienced players say to you after the way you performed at, at Villa? I think after the Villa game, I think all the lads were just buzzing with the result, really. Every, I, think it, I think that was the best performance and atmosphere I've, I've, I've been involved in, obviously, to get the three points away at Villa was, was unbelievable. Is that the, uh, the, the, t- the type of... Because it's new and it's a different world, isn't it? But the type of places you want to be playing your football in. Oh, yeah, definitely, obviously. You live for the big games, really, and the, and the atmosphere... and. The result that day was, was really good, yeah. So West Brom, league leaders, next challenge. Yeah. What's your assessment of them from afar? Obviously they're a good team, but um, I believe in the lads we've got in the dressing room and I think, I think come Wednesday night we can, we can get a good result. The manager, two or three press conferences ago, was talking about the run of fixtures that you were about to have, Villa, Leeds and then West Brom as a, an indicator as to just where this team are as maybe the top six, etc. Well, four points from two games, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think we've done well so far, but like I say, it's still early in the season, a lot, a lot still to play for, but I do think come the end of the season we should be up there with the players we've got and, and the way we're playing, I think we should be up there. So I think it is just about finding consistency week in, week out.